Привет, друзья! Welcome back to my art channel. This is Portrait of Yeva from Ukraine. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do the blogging stage. This is not the final painting. This is just the beginning of my painting process. Just the sketch. Another painting. I always wanted my YouTube channel to have some colors, and not just black and white pencil drawings. I've been recording my drawings for like two years now, and finally the day has come. This is it, guys. The first oil painting video for this channel. I enjoy oil painting as much as drawing, so I hope you guys enjoy my oil painting video too. So, in this first oil painting video, I'll be talking about the paint I'm using, what mediums, what brush I'm using, pretty much the basic stuff, nothing's too complicated. So this is a canvas panel I made myself, and I'm priming it with Windsor & Newton acrylic gesso, three coats, and I've sanded it down. It feels really nice and I love painting on a canvas texture like this one. It adds character to my painting. There are a lot of ways to start oil painting. Some people use grids, tracing paper, brown underpainting with thumb paint. My most favorite way is brown underpainting, which I will show you next time. But in this painting here, I just traced it, transferred it with carbon paper. Because since this is my first oil painting video, this technique is faster and I think it's easier for most people. Especially beginners. Don't want people to think that, ooh, oil painting is hard. No, you can start oil painting whatever you like. It's supposed to be fun and easy. And I just block the entire canvas with colors so people can see the result immediately. I'm blocking in this painting in oil. Some people use acrylic, which has faster drying time, but I love doing it in oil. I don't need to rush, and I can just enjoy my time painting. I don't need to worry about spraying my palette with water every 5 minutes. This is so relaxing, just painting. I usually start my painting from the eye. This is obviously the most important thing in portraiture, the focal point and I want to get it right from the start. So accuracy is one thing, but I'm having fun here. I don't really care if I make small mistake here and there. Any mistake can always be corrected later. People think oil painting is difficult, but for me, this medium is the most versatile and forgiving medium, especially if you're working with layers like I do here. The brush, I own several brushes, from bristle to sable brushes, from the super cheap to that Kalinsky brush from Windsor & Newton, which costs quite a fortune. <laughs> the brushes I'm using for the initial stages are mostly the cheap one. I honestly don't care much about prices, as long as the size is correct and get the job done. The more expensive brushes, I use them when I need total accuracy or when I want to achieve certain look. The paints I'm using are from Rembrandt and Windsor & Newton. I mostly use only 5 primary colors. Titanium white, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, ultramarine blue, and burnt amber. Sometimes I add secondary colors like purple, orange, and green when I feel like those five initial paints are not enough. I like to prepare and pre-mix my paints before every painting session. This way I prevent my colors getting muddy. Also, the colors look more consistent this way. For the blocking in stage, I mix my paint with small amount of mineral spirit to thin it down, make it leaner. This way, I make sure I follow the fat of a lean rule. Also, there is this thick over thin rule. What I do here is thin over thin. I don't do any impasto. The paint dries quickly, 
and I can add more and more layers and finish the painting quicker. Honestly, in the plugging in stage, I don't really care much about the details, but it's there for the clients so that I don't get any complaints. <laughs> just kidding guys, I've never got any complaints whatsoever. It's just, it's fun to have some details. I mean, come on, who can resist those tiny cat slides, right? Okay, so the face is pretty much done. Now I'm moving on to the background. So I always think that with every stage of my painting, they all should be presentable. So whenever my client wants to see the progression, at least I won't be too shy to show them and they can get a good idea of how the final painting will look like. So perhaps that's why, even though this is just another painting, I'm really putting some efforts into it. It helps me too. Sometimes when I'm looking at ugly sketch, I lose interest in the painting. Then the painting would end up sitting in the corner forever. Well, obviously there are so many inaccuracies in the sand painting, and I'm going to address those problems in the next stage of the painting. So hit the subscribe button guys, so you won't miss my next painting video. So I guess that's pretty much it guys. Just basic stuff, you know, the brushes, the paint. So feel free to leave some questions if you want to know more about oil painting. I'll surely try to answer every comment as best as I can. So I'll leave you guys to watch me painting the background in peace. And this is my new music composition. I was taking a bath and suddenly I got this melody singing inside my head. Call me crazy. <laughs> I'm not sure why this sounds so sad though. So don't cry to every star in the sky. Enjoy.